oriented, I'm first going to show you this 3D model of the skeleton and the vascular system. We're going to go down to the pelvis, and we're going to look in the right groin area. And the vessel we're interested in is right here. It's called the common femoral artery. And it's the big vessel coming out of the pelvis and supplies the whole right lower extremity with blood. So a very important vessel for keeping the right leg alive. This is the corresponding radiographic image. And again, to orient you, I'm going to show you the femur or the hip bone. And adjacent to that is the pelvis. The dark structure right in the middle is actually the common femoral artery. And it's been injected with a radiographic dye so you can see the inside. And if you look very closely, you'll see a wedge-shaped defect right in that vessel. We're going to highlight that in yellow here. And if you look, what's going on is that wedge-shaped defect is actually limiting blood flow to the white leg. This is an atherosclerotic plaque. And what we did is I had a surgeon buddy of mine went in and actually removed that plaque. He pulled it out from inside of the vessel so that I could fix the disease process further down the leg. And this is that plaque that he removed. And you can see that by hold it in the same orientation as the radiographic image why you have the picture that we have. Nose first came out in the 1980s. And a stent is basically a metallic framework that you put inside the vessel. And once you do the balloon angioplasty, the stent itself holds that vessel open and prevents the recoil. If you look at the graphic here to my side, you'll see that the balloon angioplasty is coming up into the plaque, there's actually a stent mounted on the 